Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the Pyanodons playthrough. Fantastic Mr. Ghost here with my fantastic puppy. Holy cow, look out! This thing is fast! It can get up to 200 kilometers an hour on grass and, of course, the concrete, you know, whatever you have, it's, you know, 350%. So, yeah, look out. And you gotta be careful with these creatures. I had the crawdad one. And it'll take out a building in one hit. You know, it's just, it just taps it and it's gone. So, yeah, this thing is... Whoa! <laughs> you gotta be careful. Now, they stop on a dime, and that's a good thing. So, yeah, I finally got that. Oh, my gosh. And then down here, uh, we have the spin-up. I don't know if I covered it. This is why I needed the... Well, we have the propeptides, and now the cal... What is it? Calmodulin... And binding mutant peptides, so we have that, and now I'm able to spin up a new thing. The problem is, uh, unfortunately, and I don't know why this is the case, it you can't hot bar it right here. See, so I put the food there, you need the dingrit food. So, uh, oh, and listen to this, this is cute. All right, ready, let's pop him down. He barks. <laughs> And he whines. Oh, he'll whine. I love the bark. So, yeah, it's kind of like an animation there. So, anyway. But, yo, know, let's go over last episode. So, I finally got that thing. The Calmodulin. And all of the food for the, I guess you could say the mushroom type materials. Which is what the Bodos are. Now, I really like this build a lot. I, I'm digging it, and I'm trying to make it expandable so I can go up. There are a few issues here where it isn't really expandable, but that's okay because these are fast. So, like, for, for example, the water pump has to move over here in order to go upwards, which is not a problem. I can move this over to the side. The problem is, though, this feed. So what I'll have to do if I do expand this this phytoplankton i'll have to move somewhere and i i i have room i can cut in over here and put the phytoplankton down here and then i can expand upward and then i can move these belts these belts here down and over to the bodos now the bodos here i'm going to use it temporarily for anything we need to spin up in the meantime but i'm gonna have a specific build for bodos and for the network i'm considering this build here temporary so i can get the fuel rods and the cal mode julin but i'll leave the cal mode julin in and this might change here and i'll train in the bodos to this case so this is just to get up and running now uh now that this is done boom we've got one less thing to do for the arquit mko2s mark twos Speaking of which, I have broken out all this stuff here a little bit better. So now we have the chimeric proteins to spin up. And we have everything but the two fluids. And the two fluids aren't too bad. So we have ethanol. And ethanol is using the fogway. Now I'm considering doing the mushrooms in the farming block and using a more advanced recipe and then training them in. So I might do that in between cuts. But for now... I have this set up here just to get it up and running if I don't get to it. Now, Zognobacteria I have, but the B-type molasses, I thought that was uh, manure. I thought that was liquid manure, so let me check that out real quick. All right, there it is. So we need the... And I've done this before. I just couldn't remember what it was. The good thing is we have Tufra, which is on the train network. It kicks out some biomass. I'll probably just carbon di you know, make carbon dioxide from the biomass. We get the A-type molasses... And then we filter it with vacuum, and we get the B type. So yeah, it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, the good thing is the tufers are on the network, which is awesome. So that's the ethanol. Then we got this spaghetti mess over here. I did this already for the end. I think it's heavily endoped for the complex circuit. And all I got to do is just build this thing. I am going to offer this is, what is this stuff? The ethylene glycol? I'm going to offer this to the network. Done. Now, this is BTX and Nexalit plate plus steam. Easy peasy. Got all the water and everything, the steam generators. 
And then uh, silver chlorine here. I have. Oh, I, now if I don't know why this doesn't require or doesn't allow for efficiency. If it doesn't allow for efficiency, I don't put anything in it. So I just leave it as is. Well, these two machines plus this one uh, create the fluids here. So we need slaked lime, the pure sand, and all that. So slaked lime, I have on. Actually, I have on the network. It's a byproduct of the acetylene, I think it is, for mining lead and titanium. So I might use that for here. And then later on, I'll do a slaked lime build uh, that is deprioritized because I want to use the byproduct up first. So so that will work on these two today here. Maybe I'll be able to get this done today here. The, the uh, mutant enzymes. Enzymes. Right, right. And then what I'm planning on doing is I'll bring the mutant enzymes up to, I think, the bio hub. Because, uh, and then I'll train the Arquids, the Arquid maggots. I'm going to cut a train in and bring the Arquid maggots up to the bio hub. Uh, rock hole, we already have the iron enriched biomass. I'll bury up the mutant enzyme stuff. And, uh, you know, I'll just bring a small amount, you know, like a thousand or whatever, 1500. And that, because we have to wait for this to hit. Now, let's see how many we need here. Uh, looks, ooh, oh, and the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's spin up the dingrits real quick. I, the Dilmo cubs. And that's why I got to do it in the bio hub because I'm spinning up the Dilmo cubs in the bio hub for that process, for the, or for this process here. Because we need the MKO2 maggots. Oh, I got to break that out there. Um, so yeah, I'll have to break that out a little bit. So let's go over here real quick. All right, I've got this all set up, and I totally forgot about this last episode because I got so caught up in the other things. So here we are. I have... Oh, where are my little cubs at? Wait a minute. Where'd they go? Oh, here they are, right here. So here's the Dilmo. I'll put these in here. Ah, it's all ready to go. I forgot. Yeah, I held off. I almost started it up, and I wanted to do this on screen. They're pretty quick. So we're going to get two Dilmo eggs from this process here. And we need 20, right. So I'm gonna let this run here. Let's see, okay, there's the, wait, where did the eggs go? Oh, where did the eggs go? Did, I, did they go in? Okay, they're they're in now. Okay, so th I'm gonna wait for this to, sp to get the eggs and then I'm gonna take one module. Now, if you, inter if you take the modules out of a breeder, and I'm pretty sure um, the same is for the, you know, whatever you're maturing your animals in. You will interrupt and you will, it'll bust the recipe. So you lose an entire craft. If you have something expensive, don't do that. Don't take out your modules. Um, this is pretty cheap here. It's just filtration. So uh, now it is cheap, but well, all things considered, <laughs> I'm making a lot of them now. So I ended up losing, what, two filter... Uh, filtration media, a little bit of the, you know, the other stuff there. So it wasn't too bad. Okay, I'm going to wait for this. All right. Kaboom! Now I'm going to take these modules out. I'm going to lose a few there. Pop those in here. Oh, look. Oh, that's cool. I love these things. They're almost like really deep sea creatures. Uh, I, yeah. So if... Yeah, because they look, you know, kind of see-through, transparent maybe, or translucent. Well, there we go. But, you know, why is there, why are there stairs here? Then you can get in here, because this is supposed to be a pressurized reef. Well, actually, it, well, it's called a Dilmo pool, so maybe this isn't pressurized. But it does require the aerogel, so maybe that's the coating. I don't know. I don't know how it's used. So it's going to be very slow. Now, uh, we only need the cups, so this one is the one we're going to run, or this one here. So what is this? Yeah, these are the cubs. We only need cubs for the bees to to keep, the, I, I think it's the, yeah, it's the spin-up when we get the requirement from the percent chance Arquid MKO2 thing, uh, Mark IIs. So, but I need the modules to run this whole thing. And chances are we're going to need the Dilmo anyway for something later on. I have to look again. I don't think we do, though. I think it's just for this, but, you know, I could be wrong. Now, remember, for every egg, we get 
20, um, a Dilmo, but we need 20 to get 20, which is kind of sucks, but whatever. So while that's running, I wanted to talk about the cobalt that I need in order to spin up these new machines that uh, we'll be able to do mining of stuff we haven't ever mined before, like aluminum, titanium, these big rocks, you know. And also we get bigger mining machines for the phosphate rock and I think salt too. So And it's very important, man, because that stuff can crank. So I storyboarded out here what we need. We got to start with, I think it's the cobalt extract, syngas, and lime. And then there's three stages. Each one is cleaning the cobalt and refining it, I guess. And this one requires sulfuric acid water, which kicks out tailings. And this is after I get the Arquit MKO2 to, uh, so we can spin them up consistently. I'm Because we need the fuel rod for this um, smelter recipe here for the cobalt and it's using the hot air and all that so hot air doubles a recipe and this was the crystalline thing and it needs an excellent plate and ceramic so that that's i worked on that a little bit and then oh i tore up all the biomass crap because since since i can't keep biomass flowing anymore uh, i just fine, might as well get rid of all that so what i have to do is make biomass dr go through the drying process to get the dried biomass and then the charcoal briquette this is the uh you need the dried biomass for the charcoal briquette and then uh some sodium whatever some form of sodium something and then raw fiber spun in a centrifuge now what's holding this back really is the wax so you know uh that's on the docket i'm you know as soon as i get these arquid M mko2s done then this will pop all right i got the 18 here and the two got loaded in i thought i lost them so we'll pull these out here and we'll get the adults going and I'll leave them in here and I'll have enough modules. Where are you going? I'll have enough modules for the whole build now. And there we go. Oh, I only got one. So, oh, this process is one to one. So I'm going to put this module in here to speed this up. I'm going to wait for this and we'll get to work.
All right, there it is, the final ingredient. I had to go chase this down this train here because I didn't, the stupid whitelist blacklist got put me in the ass. And I had to run down there and fix it. That is not good. I don't like this. There we go. Oh, I have... What is this? One okay. Uh, God. This whole build here. All right. So we've got... Yeah, this build is a new one. All right. Let's go down to where the... Oh, okay. I'm trying to remember what I did. <laughs> ah! So here's the glycerol. Or ethanol. I... Ethanol, methanol, okay. This is the ethanol. Mushroom, we're using the products and the, you know, all that crap. The uh, mushroom stuff. So this wasn't too bad of a build here. I look I look at the numbers briefly to make sure. I didn't put it in Helmut. I just kind of look at the, like, how much per, I break it down to how much per a second. So I break it down to second rate. And then I make sure I have enough for the next phase. And some processes you know they're kind of stupid where they got you need a lot you know of one thing oh and then i forgot the damn zogna bacteria so that's why that's up there uh but i don't mind doing these dual stops like this and because ltn doesn't have again my biggest complaint is you know this is 50 the the i can't say oh i want 250 and when it goes down to 100 or whatever you know you know how it is it's it when it goes to 50 it calls a train here in this case 250 200 the subtraction is 50. well why can't i have this row here be my threshold so the amount and threshold amount and threshold and then if i have a fluid i could say 25,000, 20,000. instead i have to do this bs and it drives me nuts it's just it seems like it'd be simple to program to me i don't know why and tsm does it where it each you can have an arithmetic combinator or a constant combinator to have your set values or whatever and you can have all kinds of different stuff one um combinator and one train stop you can actually get multiple stuff going so it's kind of a pain in the butt ltn for this thing if i could mod i would oh i would change that um so anyway yeah this is pretty straightforward the uh ethanol so now that's on the network and i tucked it in over here by the calmajulin this sucker, um, okay, it's oh, that's 3,000 already. Holy cripes. Now, this sucker here wasn't too bad. Now, I did this for the, the complex circuit, like I said, and we need this stuff here, the ethylene glycol, and uh, another steam eater. So I added, I spam more steam down, <laughs> and the BTX is a big one here for this. Next little pay BTX steam. Then we get the ethylene out of that. I needed two for one of the ethylene chloral hydrin along with silver and why is there no chlorine here what is going on oh i might be so i might need to do a chlorine build my chlorine is like a byproduct oh i got plenty here oh 14000 um you know what another thing is I don't know what why this is happening, but I keep these requester keeps it keeps popping the checkbox on, and I don't know if it's because I update mods sometimes, you know, and it'll check the box back on because the LTN goes through this translation crap every time I do mods. But or in, now this one, he, let's see this one here. Yeah, see, look, this one's on. Now it doesn't affect it because. The number is really big, and you have to set that in the in the settings, or else you're screwed. Yeah, see, this one didn't go. So it, it's when I did a big um, there was a big LTN, uh, I think combinator. This combinator update, uh, there this mod I have, it's the LTN combinator. Normally, you just use constant combinators. You put the values in there. I like this because it's all gooey. You know, it's easier. Um, you know, less crap to do. So. The uh, when I updated, and it was a big update, and he's done some good work here um, with the interface and how things are done. But I think what happened is it went enable request and provide on every single combinator on your on the map, which is a, oh my god, that is a pain in the ass. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll have to fix that. And okay, so let's get back to this here. So interestingly, this ethylene. 
is used for both of these processes here, adding silver and chlorine to this one and water to this one. And so we got the ethylene, ethylene chlorohydrin, and then we get the chloroethanol, all right? And then we add slaked lime, pure sand. I guess the sand is kind of like a filtration. You know, water, sand, filter, the slaked lime with the chloroethanol, and then we get the glycol. I'm not too sure how that works. So there we go. Lots of it there. Now this one here, real simple. I decided, you know what? I might as well bring it over here, uh, the glycol. The ethylene glycol, just pipe it on over. One less train running around. And again, I like the chaining. So separating the builds out and then chaining the builds together, spreading out so you have enough room to do other things. If I want to bring a train in or do something else, you know, something might change. I might see something I did wrong. And it takes a while. Sometimes it, it takes a while to figure out, oh, I did something wrong here. I got to rework it. So now I have plenty of room, you know, for that. And there, oh, so this goop here uh the mutant enzymes i limited the tank to 3k because this stuff is so expensive uh you know the calmajulin and the propeptides the retrovirus i'm going to have to revisit that make sure that you know it can run all on the same now i want to check the enzymes here the the mutant so we got this uh i think it's chitosan kytosan maybe kytosan and oddly enough, we can use this to generate aluminum, lead. Now, this nano Febreze or Febris, this I think is a part of Pi Science 3. So, yeah, it's a big, this is a big thing here for the science. And then we can use collagen to get more 3 versus 1. Heck yeah, we're using that one. Advanced coding, I think that's going into, oh, I've, I've seen this. I think it is for Pi Science 3. And there we go. Yep, I was right. I've seen it before, all this stuff. Holy crap. So we got one, two. Oh, and the Arquid Propolis, believe it or not, is used, I think, oh, I think it's the ding Dingrits. No, no, not the Dingrits. The Dilmos. I think we use Dilmo to get the Arquid Prop Propolis. So the, the uh, Dilmo sea creatures that we just spun up in this episode are actually used for this. I remember now. And there's the Nano Febreze or Febrils. Oh, it's Febrils. Sorry, my my vision is not the best here. So yeah, a lot of crazy stuff. The Industrial Diamond is a... Oh my God, don't even get me started on that. Let's not even look at it. <laughs> so we actually have an ingredient for Pi Science 3 coming up that, well, it's one further back, obviously. So let's get cracking on the spin-up of the Arquid Mark II. All right, folks, I'm at my new stop here, all fresh and ready. So we're going to request some maggots. Okay, there we go, 100 maggots. And I hope it works. <laughs> so I ran over to the bees, and they are... All I do is look for the biggest wreck of a build. This thing is nasty. I got to redo this because I, you know, I, I changed the way I was doing things. Uh, so here we are over here there we go so i just cut a train in right here and i got a requester because they are on a provider over here and so i'll have the bots take them over trains on its way and i'm offering 50 to the ltn network here so the train will come on by pick him up there it goes all right cool now uh over here i got the barreling of the mutant enzymes and I set this to five barrels on that. So here it is. Now I'm going to need another. Oh, I got this one. Stop here is for bigger amounts. So this is the 20, 25,000. This is the less than, you know, um, yeah, I set it to a thousand on this one, but I could do 500, 1500, whatever. But, I, you know, for, for very expensive fluids, you know, milk, I'm not producing a lot of Phosphoric acid, you know, that that's how I'm kind of rolling with that. Way over here is the Arquid Mark II spin-up. So 25 maggots. Yeah, it's going to hurt. I set up the requester, got the mutant enzyme barrels, rock hole, and the iron-enriched moondrop flower. Remember that? Holy cow. So we got all that going here, and it produces Arquids, Arquid, whatever. 
So I'll bring those, I'll ferry those back down to the B area, just chuck them into the rendering case, because they're going to get rendered anyway. So don't let them go to waste. And then I've got my annoying speaker here set to greater than zero. And we only, like I said, we only need one. So I'm going to wait for that. And I'll cut in. Hopefully I get it quick. Because, man, I don't want to wait for this. I want this over with. This is all that's left, folks. And this is the spin-up. Uh, so I broke this out. Now, what's weird, we need empty comb. Oh, no. We need a filled comb. Then, and I have those in the B area. So, but, but well, we're going to spin them up here. So I have to think about how I'm going to get the filled combs here. Uh, I'll probably... Problem is I have to bring all the materials in. So I'll have to look at that filled comb thing there. I know it's flowers and all that stuff. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, I have it. Yeah, I have it in the B area, but not here in the bio hub. So we need five filled combs. Then we take one Arquid MKO2 or Mark II, two, two Ulrichs. I'll have to train those into the bio hub too. So there's the filled comb and the Ulrich I don't have. And then we get a nest and empty comb. So what I'm thinking is we can cycle these back to fill it back up, you know? Now, so this, oh, this is the comb right here. Yeah, I forgot. So crude oil barrel, native flora, empty comb. I can make those or I can steal some from the bee area. Sap I have. So native flora, crude oil. Hmm, I'm going to have to bring crude oil in. So maybe that's at 25,000. One that I have open there. So yeah, I'll have to bring it in. Then over here, yeah, then we do this thing with the Ulrich. Now, over here, I already have the milk. I think I'm training in the bedding because I tore that out because I have the bedding on the network now, so I just bring it into the bio hub because it's being produced better out in, you know, the area there. We have Ulrich food already, so everything is squared away there. And then it needs the... Oh, and this is what's weird, okay? So the Ulrich gets con um, turned into an MK2... Uh, or Mark II nest. So I, I would think you would need uh, MK or Mark II Ulrich for a nest. No, it turns it into. So that's, I think, what I was getting confused about when I look at the FNEI stuff. All right, so that gives us uh, 20 of the eggs, which is great. Then we warm them up, and I have hot air ready in the bio hub. We warm up five eggs, we get uh, four maggots. So we get 20, so that's four, 16. So we get a reduction of one per, yeah. Uh, one per on that. Then the maggots come in here, and there's the Dilmo cub with meat. And it takes, I think that's nine. Ah, oh, that sucks. So nine maggots. And then this spins up quick once we get the first bunch, you know. And then I'll take care of the upgrading. All right, so I'll wait for this to process. Hopefully I get this thing soon. And we can call the Arquid MKO2s done. Oh, why are you in here? MKO, wait a minute. What's this one? That's an Arquad. Did I pick the wrong one? Oh, whitelist. There we go. All right. All right. I'll break back in when I get the first one. Hopefully it's really quick. Boom. Oh, you know what this means, folks. I got an Arquid MK02. How many episodes have I been? <laughs> oh, I faffed about with some other things here and there, but this is it, folks. There it is. <laughs> I hope I don't need to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need one. Oh, dear. Yep. I finally got it. So, it, while I was waiting, I built this monstrosity here. Well, it's not really a monstrosity compared to other things. And, oh boy, I've been finding bugs everywhere in this base. Every time I change something, I have to, I have to go fix something I forgot. Ah, Autosave. All right, you. Um... So the honey started running out on me because this thing is uh, the good. I tell you, these MKO2 things, they really stress test your base, especially, well, the animal parts. Usually, you know, there's other things too. So I found uh, I found out that I was running out of honey. So I added four more apiaries for honey. And then I did this design here where I'm sharing one case 
and I'm fanning out to centrifuges here to spin the honey out. And then I got the barrel pickups here and the barreling comes down here and over and blah, blah, blah. It's best I could get best I could do. And then the barreling is here. So that happened. I ripped that stop out that was here temporarily. And then another thing I did while I was waiting <laughs> for the uh, the silly little uh, thing, this B, I did. I finally changed this over here. I still have Coke here. And I ripped out, I moved these. Now I don't need the coke, coking oven, uh, is it coke, coke oven gas here anymore? But, well, it's good to have it. Cause I might need it for the hot air somewhere else. But I'm doing the coke oven gas on site for the hot bricks. So I'm leaving this here because it's a byproduct of the coke here. So now, instead of doing carbon dioxide for both of these builds, Kai Calx saving the day again look at this thing biomass is 300 um 300 carbon dioxide for whatever amount there and this thing can crank out some biomass so i'm really having fun with this stuff here <laughs> and then over here by the body parts um sorting area you'll notice that oh looky here got 28,000 there i moved this over and the tree stuff is gone, the carbon dioxide loader is gone. And you know, this is because the base is shifting. And notice, oh, I got some more blood containers here, you know, the 100K. And I decided that I need, the blood is kind of getting hammered. So let's, I'm not gonna do the urea, it's blood to urea in an atomizer with the fuel and notice the fuel. And then, let's see, it takes the urea, atom, atomizes it, and we get the ammonia out of it. Yeah, I'm trying to remember all that stuff. And then, of course, I got ash coming out of here, so I was like, ah, crap. So here I am putting an MK2 <laughs> gas refinery in here for a little bit of ash, so I might switch this out to an MK1. Um, the other option is to use the fuel to get rid of the ash through a loop, you know, but... The burner loop, I don't want to do that. I'd rather use this, so eh, I'll switch it out if I remember. And so, yeah, this has been simplified now because, yeah, the base is evolving. It's changing, so he have to make adjustments. All right, now, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, no. Oh, I need power for that. That's fine. Let's go through. I need the empty combs in here for that. And I brought the crude oil in, so I'm going to do this. And the combs I'm going to take out because what's going to happen, I think, is this long arm is going to export them back in because we kick out empty combs for the filled. So it goes back and forth. I, I'll i put more combs in here or I'll do a case if I have to. And this case here is the filled combs through. And I only have 15 right now. If I add more, it's not going to overdrive that case. So that's good. And this one here needs an Ulrich, which I brought in. So let's go ahead and set that. I'll call 10 up here with the bots. I got the sap being made, you know, and all that. So this will kick start. Once I get the... Oh, there we go. Now those are going. So the filled combs are going. And then when the filled combs go in here, we'll... Ha oh, there's where the arcwood goes. Okay. Let's grab this. Oh, my God. This thing is so expensive. We'll pop it in. There we go. Now, that one creates the comb. Let me grab this before I forget. All right, now this one here. All right, this one. Bedding and the milk and all that. So let's go here to there. Take that out. The uh, MK2 nest. Got the bedding and the milk. Now the milk comes out here and I have it set whitelist yeah <laughs> there we go okay this one hot air all right so let's go ahead and request hot air here 10 barrels there we go now kick start the maggot um, or uh, egg to maggot four of those that goes in here and then we need meat and the little Dilmo cub and that is here so we'll go blip and blop and this I have set to 100 Arquid MK02s or Mark 2s. 
that comes out, I think, yes. And there we go. We got the Dilmo. We got the meat coming. There we go. We got it. It's going. Making the nest. Oh, my God. This has been a long time coming, man. When I first looked at this Arquid, Arquid MKO2 Mark II thing, I was like, I was about checking out about, now I needed a break from this crap, this Pinodon stuff. And there we go. And now we're going to get the 20 of the Arquid eggs of the Mark II um, types. There we go. Oh, that was slow. Oh, 50 seconds. All right. Okay, there's craft one. We got two more crafts out of that there. So, yeah, good. I was a little worried. I'm like, I, I did the math in my head because sometimes you need two or three of the MK02 or Mark IIs and then it kickstarts, you know. But this one, you only need the one and you get a ton of the stuff, you know, 16. Uh, yeah, 16 out of here and we only need nine. Yeah, so my math was right. And there it is, folks. We got it. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. I have to bring those up to here. So, yeah, to get the cycle. I forgot. Yeah, this one needs the MKO2s. I was like, wait a minute. I'm missing something here. And then I'll upgrade all this stuff to MKO2 Arquids. And this one's already got the uh, Mark IIs there. I'll try and get in the habit of saying Mark II. Because, you know, MK02. Because I see MK02 and that's what's in my head. Now, why are you stuck? Oh. Oh, they're filled. All right. So, we're good there. And, oh, the rest of them are in there. Okay. Now, what do we got? Are they still going? Oh, okay. Now it's going. And let's see what we get uh, out of this. Actually, I want to see what I get on the first crap. So, we're supposed to get 3 to 13. Oh, 11. Not bad. So what I'm going to do is uh, toss them. Let's get one in here going. And then I think this, I want to speed up a little bit. And then also this one here uh, for, well, yeah, we'll go, we'll do that. Because we're going to get a ton of them out of here each time. Okay. And then I'll run back down to the um, B area and throw the, you know, the regular ones in the in the in the um, rendering. But oh, and I took the extras that I got from the process and I, I put them back into the B things, so they went back on the belt because you know we need them for uh, the nests. I think the bees plus the nest. I don't know. I can't remember now. But they were oh they were getting consumed. I think by the queen. Yeah, the queen makes the eggs. So the Arquids go in, and then the Queen with the drones. I think it's the drones and, you know, all that stuff starts happening there. Oh, there we go. Did it. I finally got them. <laughs> oh, you know what I'll do? I think this one, right? Yeah. I'll, I'm going to request one Arquid MKO2 here. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I don't have to belt them up because that's a long belt from here. Considering these things are, I mean, you know, I don't want this long belt going all the way up to here. That's crazy talk. All right. Well, next episode, I'll show you what I got and uh, when I upgrade. And then now we're on to actual base work, not animal work, unless I find some other animal stuff to do. Now, I do have these projects up here that I put off. Uh, I don't. We don't need the muck moose and the fog knot. We can't do just yet because of the uh, the the bodos, right? So now I've got these projects sitting up here that we'll work on the cobalt. Ooh, we can do the cobalt now. I got the coal briquettes and then the hot air. Uh, this salt. Oh, I, I have I have yet to go over this one. It's not important though. Casting and and the wax and stuff. But I got the coke project lined up. So maybe next episode we'll work on the coke and heavy oil. I'm looking forward to that. And we're going to be doing bees for that. So I'll have MK02 or Mark II bees. And I have the, oh, which one is it? Here? No. Oh, here it is right here. Yeah. This is the one I was, I redid this. But it's a real, cra I don't know what's going on. I'm using the Yadels here. Uh, so, oh, you know what? I don't have a Yadel build. So I'll have to copy paste that and make Yadels. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Because it's only three, four. All right, well, next episode.
we're working on the coke heavy oil. And then we'll get wax out of that, and that'll open the door for the charcoal briquettes. I'm really excited about it. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Rejoice. Woo, celebrate. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.